All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about double layer 5 8 drywall ceilings on Resbar. Okay, so on this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the double layer 5 8 ceilings that we're doing at the James here. Uh, we've been doing these ceilings for about a year now, and um, they're all on Resbar, which is the sound resilient uh, bar. We're putting that at every 16 inches on center. Um, but yeah, this is crazy. Double layer 5 8 is, is pretty wild. Uh, some of these units can get pretty pretty funky. So if you're what we do every time we go into a brand new unit that we haven't done the ceiling before, we'll I'll try to figure something out, a layout out uh, that will work opposite to what I need. Okay, for the first layer, um, I'll drywall the whole ceiling as you can see here, right? And then I'll see uh, what I need to change on the way back. Um, it's pretty efficient that way. I always on the second layer get very uh, um, The most possible limited joints is what you want, right? Uh, butt joints and, and tape joints The other factor you need to take into consideration here is the runs uh, where the duct runs will be because if you can hide joints inside of the duct runs and bulkheads, right? That will only need to be fire taped. You're saving a lot of extra work for the finish tapers um, sprinklers and boxes, like in this situation here, the boxes were extremely, extremely low. So low that we could not put the first layer on without pre-cutting the, the boxes. Um, as you'll see later on in the video too, that, uh, it, it was crazy guys. Like, um, put extra, sorry, put extra steel in right there where you need, put in extra steel. Um, as you get... Start doing these units, you're gonna know where you're gonna need to put the extra steel in. Um, Aaron and I, uh, Big A, sorry, and I have done so many of these units, like we could do them in our sleep probably by now, right? Uh, so we figure out where we wanna put our joints and we make sure that the, that, um, the steel is there, right? Um, so yeah, three in the field. We're using inch and a quarters on the, for, to um, fasten the res bar to the joists. The joists are every two feet. Um, and then we're using inch and a quarters, obviously, for first layer into the res bar as well. We're switching to two inch screws for the finished layer. Double five eighths comes to an inch and a quarter. The, the hat track is, uh, or sorry, the resilient bar is a half inch. You need to um, make sure you don't hit the joists when you're screwing in the, the drywall, right? You need to lay that out, make sure you're not, uh, you're only screwing into the channel, the res bar, not into the joist itself. So mark where the joists are if you need to, um, but big A and I, we do mark all our sheets where, the, where we need to put screws, we mark them all. It's pretty easy, it's pretty fast. Like uh, we'll draw out where all the res bar is. You know, and then it's it just, I'll use my, my T-square, just make a couple marks, ding, ding, where it needs to go, uh, where the screws need to go. See, the boxes are very low. Uh, so second layer, uh, you're going to you're gonna put on, um, and you can't pre-cut the boxes on second layer. You have to route them out, right? So mark centers. Um, the sprinklers are the circles, right? They're inch and seven eighths. They're not quite two inches. They're like an inch and seven eighths. So we do a two inch on the first layer and then we go uh, inch and seven eighths tight on the second layer. And they look, they work really well. They look good. You can see how low the sheet is. That hey, I can put my fingers in there. I got fat fingers. <laughs> yeah, and that's how you router out the boxes too. You just gotta mark centers, router them out and that's it. Yeah. Look how far the screws are out. <laughs> and they still yeah. popped. Yeah. yeah, double layer ceilings are a real pain in the butt. They're really, really hard, but uh, they've gotten us in really good shape. So uh, make sure you guys have any questions. Leave them down below in the comments, okay? Uh, I'm not kidding. I'll get back to all you guys. Um, yeah, get subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon, guys. This is Chris. Bye for now, guys.